This is where we're gonna begin our prototype we have our business plan started to kind of get thought out. Maybe we've hired some professionals along the way. Now we need to get down into the weeds a little bit there and start to work on the specifications to get this thing off the ground. The very first step, of course, is getting those proposals and estimates, right? So we talked about the quantified versus non-quantified mindset before. Everybody has to present some kind of proposal anyway, regardless of whether or not you know, you're quantifying or not quantifying something. Ultimately, like providing kind of a, an outline of what we're doing and what our goal and objective is, is really important. You wanna ask for this by kind of explaining your idea, but you don't wanna to give too much detail to the whole world about it, right? Be very vague and general. And then like really asking for what matters the most to you. Whatever it is that's important to you is where, this is where you get a shot to ask for that. Not getting too wrapped up in the costs and pricing quite yet. A good source of building the professional network required for executing your idea is Upwork. I actually use it quite a bit. But before you're gonna be able to get useful estimates, useful proposals, and things that are accurate, you need to be able to, to explain this stuff. And so we're gonna make a flow chart. We're gonna map out at least like the basic path there so that we can build the rest of the specs. Lucid app is a great tool for this. It makes it really simple. This is where it's really good to hire a professional and kind of do some exercises in engineering and architectural kind of design work on your idea before you even talk to like that software developer who's gonna build it or something. So then there's another thing called a functional specification. A functional specification is all about like, what is this thing going to do? It doesn't define how it's gonna do it, Usually, like I would say at, at a low end, it's not a bad idea to expect to put a couple days of time, like two eight hour days fully committed to building out that spec. I've had a spec that was uh, up to a year to build. Now we can get into what I think is the number one biggest secret. This is what we call Figma scoping. It builds a non-functional prototype. So the user experience gets defined here. You build this thing out, you take the time to think it through. Now Figma can be a little complicated. I don't recommend trying to just jump in and build Figma, okay? So generally you gotta like hire a professional to do that. But a Figma expert should be able to take a functional spec and a flowchart and build a lot off of that. Then once you have this done, estimating the cost overall of this thing is gonna be way easier. At this point in time, what's really cool, you have a non-functional prototype. All this other stuff that you did has led up to this very moment. It's a huge deal because like that's something you can show investors. Uh, another thing that a lot of times the non-quantified mindset won't necessarily dive in and do, but a quantified mindset probably should is building out UMLs or unified modeling language. And the UML is a, it's a universally accepted standard. Adding UML sequences in there uh, and things can be very beneficial. Like there's systems that can take certain UML diagrams and write code from it. I usually take these and just write the code. Now, the other thing is uh, an entity relationship diagram. An ERD is a standard engineering document that is gonna define the database model. Any kind of field that's gonna have a variable that's gonna be written in there is gonna be defined in the ERD. Any relationships that these different tables have between each other is also defined in there. Database engineering comes into play here. And I would say that simplifies the job of the backend developer because the backend developer, if they have a UML and an ERD, then they don't have a lot of questions. But at this point in time, you're pretty much ready to build that app. 